Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Young Muslim Readers Channel. Today, we're going to be reading a book titled Zach and His Good Intentions, written by J. Samia Ma'il and illustrated by Umar Borges. Bismillah. What a terrible day, Zach thought as he stared out the window of his room. No matter how hard he tried, everything was going wrong. Zach looked at his sister, Hannah, who was outside helping their mother in the garden. They were laughing and having fun. It's all Hannah's fault, he said to himself. Hannah and her good deeds. Zach started thinking about all that had happened that day. Zach had woken up to the smell of freshly baked chocolate chip cookies that morning. His father then came into Zach's room and told him that they were going swimming after lunch. Zach couldn't wait for the day to begin. He jumped out of bed and ran down the stairs to the kitchen. See you in a few minutes, Hannah said as she closed the kitchen door that led to the backyard patio. She was carrying a paper plate full of cookies. Where is Hannah going? Zach asked. Hannah has decided to see how many good deeds she can do today. She's taking some cookies to Mrs. Wilson, Mama said. Good deeds? I can do that. Zach quickly put some cookies on a paper plate. I'm taking these to Ahmed's house, he said as he left. Zach was so excited to earn a good deed that he started jogging down the street. The closer he got to Ahmed's house, the faster he went. By the time he reached the mailbox, he was running. Then... Something terrible happened. Zach tripped on a bump in the sidewalk and lost his balance. His arms flayed wildly in the air and the cookies went flying. He fell and landed in a huge pile of dirt. The cookies scattered everywhere. There goes that good deed, he said to himself. Zach walked through the kitchen door, covered with dirt. The cookies were filthy and broken. What happened to you? asked his mother. Things didn't go as I had planned, Zach said, throwing the cookies in the trash can and heading upstairs to change his clothes. Hannah, Zach, have you seen our cat, Miss Ginger? Their mother called after Zach had dressed. I haven't seen her since last night. I'll find her, Mama. It will be another good deed, Hannah said, dashing out the front door. Not if I find her first, Zach said, heading straight for the tree in the neighbor's yard. Here, Miss Ginger, here, Miss Ginger, Zach called out as he approached the neighbor's tree. He heard a familiar meow. The cat was high up in the tree and looked terrified. Zach reached his arms towards the cat, but the cat wouldn't budge. He started to climb the tree to get her. Then, something terrible happened. Yuck! Zack screamed. He grabbed for a higher branch and sunk his hand into a big blob of sticky sap. When he quickly pulled his hand away from the sap, he got sap all over his face. His scream startled Miss Ginger, who scampered down the tree and headed straight for home.
Zack jumped out of the tree and started to chase after the cat, but tripped on a pine cone and tumbled on the ground. Grass stuck all over his body where the sap had been. There you are, Miss Ginger. Hannah picked up the cat and walked towards the house. Mama, Mama, I found Miss Ginger, Hannah said as she opened the door. There goes that good deed, Zack said to himself, pulling a blade of grass out of his mouth. Oh my, Zack's father said when he walked inside. What happened? Things didn't go anything like I had planned, Zack said. Baba, I have already done two good deeds today, Hannah said. Good job, Hannah, said their father. Why don't you do a third good deed and pour me a glass of iced tea? I'll be on the patio reading the paper, he said, closing the kitchen door behind him. Let me do, Zack said. Before he could say anything else, Hannah had poured their father a glass of iced tea and was out the door. Hannah, Hannah, their mother called from upstairs. Will you please water the front lawn? But first, move the spring. I'll do it, Zach answered and left the house before she had finished her sentence. He turned the outdoor tap all the way on and went back inside. At least this is one good deed that Hannah can't ruin, he thought. Then something terrible happened. The kitchen door slammed open. Boom! The father stood at the doorway, dripping with water from head to toe. He held a soggy newspaper under his arm and a glass of watered-down iced tea in the other. Who gave me a sprinkler shower? Zack's father screamed. Sorry, Baba, Zack said. He started stomping up the stairs to his room. There goes that good deed. What a terrible day, Zack thought as he stared out the window of his room. No matter how hard he tried, everything was going wrong. Zack looked at his sister, who was helping their mother in the garden. They were laughing and having fun. It's all Hannah's fault, he whispered to himself. Hannah and her good deeds. Zack decided to go outside. The sun was so hot now, it had dried up all the water from the sprinkler. He plopped himself down on a patio chair. Nothing was turning out as he had planned. Hannah, would you hand me my garden gloves? They are in the pocket of my sweater, Mama said. Hannah reached in the pocket of her mother's sweater. I found a packet of gummy bears. May we eat them? Their mother hesitated at first. Okay, share them with your brother. There are four for you and four for me, she said, giving the sweets to Zach. Hannah ate her four quickly. Zach chewed slowly. He wasn't very hungry. Mama, do you want my last gummy bear? I don't want it, Zack said sadly. I want it, Hannah said while digging in the garden with a hand shovel. It will be a good deed, Zack thought for a moment. He hadn't earned a good deed all day. Okay, you can have it, Zack started to hand his last gummy bear to his sister. Then... Something terrible happened. Hannah pulled the shovel out of the ground to reach for the candy. A huge, wet, 
wriggly worm flew through the air and landed on the top of Zack's head. As he shook his head and frantically ran his fingers through his hair to get it off, the gobby bear fell in the dirt. No one could eat it now. There goes that good deed, Zack said. I just can't get a good deed today, Zack said sadly. Mama smiled. But you did get a good deed. How can I get a good deed? I never gave my gummy bear to Hannah. But you intended to give it to her, the mother explained. And that's what counts. The Prophet Muhammad wasalam, said that whoever intends to do a good deed but does not do it still gets a good deed for his or her intention. A big smile appeared on his face. That means I've done four good deeds today. One for intending to give cookies to Ahmad's family. One for intending to bring Miss Jinga back home. One for intending to water the front lawn. And one for intending to give Hannah my last gummy bear. Is this a good deed? The father yelled, running directly at them and waving the sprinkler in his hand. It's a hot day after all. Mama and Hannah screamed and ran inside the house. Zach ran straight toward his father. What a great day, Zach thought, even if things didn't go anything like I had planned. Jazakumullahu khairan for listening to our story today titled Zach and His Good Intentions. If you like the story and you don't want to miss out on our next story, kindly subscribe and click the notification button. Till next time on the Young Muslim Readers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.